the wall box offers four different charging modes, which you can easily select using the four buttons on the wall box page, which we will now discuss. Note, if you have installed an optional button, you can use it to switch between the modes. However, this does not apply to the lock mode. This can only be activated and deactivated via the cost dial smart energy meter. In lock mode, the enactor is locked for charging. Activate this mode to protect your wall box from unauthorized use. In power mode, charging takes place with the full charging power from all available sources – PV, grid and house battery. This is indicated by the power point max marked in blue. Use this mode to charge your vehicle as quickly as possible. In solar pure mode, your electric vehicle is only charged by self-generated PV energy. In this case, it makes sense to use the solar pure mode if there is sufficient photovoltaic energy or sufficient charging time. Charging with the minimum charging current begins as soon as the minimum required charging power from the PV energy generated by the vehicle itself is available. If more power is available, the charging is increased to the maximum value. Use this mode to charge your electric vehicle only with your generated PV energy. The Solar Plus mode is a combination of different modes. In addition to photovoltaic energy, energy from the grid is used. When does it make sense to use the Solar Plus mode? When the available photovoltaic energy or charging time is low. Select the starting charging power in the inner circle from the maximum charging power of your vehicle. This can range from minimum to 50%, 75% to maximum. You can then select the minimum surplus of PV energy via the outer slider. Only when this minimum surplus is reached is charging started with the selected start charging power. In this example, the charging power is 50%. If the PV surplus becomes larger, the main supply is replaced and, in the case of a larger surplus, the charging power is automatically increased to the maximum possible value. Use this mode for small systems with too little surplus PV energy for purely solar charging or if you always have solar charging or if you always want to specify a certain minimum charging power. For a better understanding or in case of problems, here are some hints. Firstly, cloud draft power drop hysteresis. Since it is not optimal for the charging vehicle to experience a more frequent switching off and on of the charge, a hysteresis has been stored as with the inverted switching outputs. This will last 5 minutes and, after drop in excess power, causes charging to continue at the minimum value before it is switched off. Secondly, hysteresis after switch off. After the first hysteresis time has elapsed, connection is prevented for 8 minutes. After 8 minutes have elapsed, charging in the solar range is automatically resumed if there is sufficient surplus available. Wallbox settings. Currently, there is only one additional setting that can be made in Costile Smart Energy Meter. To do this, select the gear wheel at the top right of the wallbox page. In the advanced settings area, you can make settings for vehicles that have problems in the area of charging currents, for example, some 22 kilowatt onboard charges. You can select a higher minimum charge current. The default value is 6 Ampere. If you select a higher value, the minimum charging power in the solar charging modes will also change. We hope you enjoy using your Costile system consisting of the Enector, Inverter and Smart Energy Meter.